means it takes faith to pray. Number one. It means it takes faith to be consistent. Number two. It means it takes faith eh, to remain seeking, asking, praying. See, my friends, I have believed God and I'm still believing Him. And I will continue to believe Him. It's a work of faith. If He comes, will He find faith on the earth? Will He? Because many of you, you are about to lose faith. There are so many that have lost their faith. I know you have had a lot of teaching. I respect our Father Dr. Abel Damina. But I'm telling you the truth, my brothers. There are people that at the tail end in this journey, they wake up one day and suddenly they become something else. I told you here about the story of the guy that sang the song. I pledge allegiance to the Lord. With all my strength, with all I have, I will seek to honor his that guy now is a gay. Is that not true? Yes. He said, we look around and say, me, I'm, uh, I'm, not a, I'm not a woman. I'm not a man. I'm a woman. And I want to marry a man. I mean, what does that mean, Master? I mean, and now he's married to a man with that kind of anointing and grace. Is that one still in faith? Even if he's in faith, but not the faith, me and you know. His faith. That faith that it takes to believe that a man is a woman is still faith. But I don't know that one. It's possible for you to wake up one day and say all these things we are saying is a lie. Apostle, forget this thing. You are about to lose your faith. Jesus asked a question. If the Son of Man come, will he see find faith in this earth? Because it then tell us that this time we are approaching, faith will not be available. Perilous times, end times, times of persecution, men lose their faith say ye beloved building up yourself in your most holy faith praying in the holy ghost why do we have to pray so much here we know your faith needs to be built up simple there are some faith that come by hearing hearing by the word of god you build it by prayers and the parable was spoken to the intent that men ought always to pray and not to faint last then we pray I evaluated this parable and I discovered who was right, who was wrong <laughs> to shock you. Do you realize that the woman that was meeting the judge every day and telling granny victory, granny victory, she's wrong. She was the one that is as guilty as charged. If me and you have a problem and we are to go to court, right? I bought some land and I'm having an issue with the land. I called the man and said, I will go to court. Supreme one, Supreme two, Magistrate one, Magistrate two, I court one, I court two. I will go to police station, different station. If you are not careful with me. It's just because I'm a pastor doesn't mean I'm stupid. The guy said, sorry, sorry. Oh, eh, nah. See, people when they hear court and police station, they are afraid. I don't know why. But police are your friends. I don't know your friends. What about soldiers? Hey! So, if me and you have an issue, right? And you know that you are right, do you need to go and be disturbing the judge? You are not supposed to go and be lobbying because you know if normal court proceedings you go on, you will win because you have enough evidence you are right. But when you are wrong, Uncle, you will have sleepless night. You will be looking for who to lobby, who to bribe, who to... That was the situation of that woman. She was wrong. And because she was wrong, she's looking for an advantage. So she was going to meet the judge. Paraventure. Can you do something? I know you can do something. It's within your power. And the other woman that is a Christian, maybe she's a deacon in church. Fed, no need. Let me sleep. It's my Abba. Me, I'm the one that is right now. Ah, this thing. Ah, she's wrong now. And that woman pressed until the judge turned the matter and that other one wake up and just realize suddenly that the matter has been turned now she will go to church and be sowing seed and be doing prayer and fasting what is the moral of this when that woman was supposed to be praying she was not praying another moral is simple 
no matter how right you are if you refuse to pray you will be wrong it doesn't matter how right you are many of you, you are okay you are right it is your right i agree but because you refuse to pray somebody will force a king that does not know joseph somebody will force the law and change it just because you are right you went to court you went to police station i understand please follow it up with prayer because somebody will change the thing and you will become wrong even though you are right he spoke the parable to the intent that men ought always to pray and not to faint it then means i know you hold the exam very well i agree but when you are done it's not about your pen it's not about your paper it's not about your tdb go back katia my I may not know the lecturer. Others left with them. Others pay money. I will not. I know a king in heaven. Why? Because a woman may be somewhere saying, Oh, grant me victory, I guess. When you fail to pray, you will become wrong even when you are right. That is immoral. So Jesus said, Men ought always to pray and not to faint. Because at the point of fainting, the enemy so tears. The enemy came and planted his own. And you wake up and you discover, ah, things have gone bad. How? Is it not wheat we planted? Yes, why you fainted? Somebody came and did otherwise. Rise up on your feet and we pray. And say, oh God, I stand as a priest over my life and I prophesy. Nothing go out of my words. Never. Five minute prayer, then we are done. Four minutes. Next week, we round up the teaching series preparing for the miracle and communion service to establish some things in the spirit. For those of you that feel you are not qualified, don't worry. I have taught you. Doesn't matter how lost you are, you can return back home. There is a decoration meant for you. Jesus never condemned. Jesus never despised no one. And for those of you that felt you are qualified, please add prayer to your qualification. Add prayer to your certification. There's a place where your certificate will not matter. There's a place where your degrees have no rank. There's a place where what you know will give you no credence. There's a place where your beauty fails. There's a place where your expertise fails. There's a place where your understanding fails. Courage.